Okay. Now for our ideas for one this team. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute. Pledge. Today's high is 71 and the low for this evening is 58. There is a 25% chance of rain. The sun will set around 7 p.m. It is now time to enter the PTA Reflections Contest. To learn more about entering, go to pta.org slash backslash. Raise crazes in full swing. This is a way to raise money for RGS while incorporating volunteering and helping our community. No selling, just kindness. Students ask friends and family for donations, and as a way to thank those donors, they pay it forward by performing acts of kindness on the school community. Thank you, and it's very smart practice is today at 2.30. Iowa testing for second grade and PSAT testing will be tomorrow on October 12th. And Kona Ice is back on the elementary side tomorrow on October 12th. Any seventh or eighth graders and students join the 2022 to 2023 Fountain Inn High School Wrestling Team, please plan to attend an informational meeting on Thursday, 10. 1322 at 7.30 a.m. in the gym. If you can't attend, contact Coach Bell at R-N-B-E-L-L at symbol Greenville.K12.SC.US. Your book ads for 8 graders are now available. If your family is interested in placing an ad, please check the school website and various media sites. Today's lunch menu includes nacho bar, taco beef, seasoned chicken, fruit, and vegetable bar. Reporter Cole Masters has sports news. Our sports feature today, our reporter spoke with students who run cross country. So basically every day we just like run and we do different kind of running and we like do workouts and stuff. Okay. How does it feel like being a middle schooler on varsity? So it's definitely harder than normally because you're like the youngest one on varsity and there's nobody really your age, so it's hard to see where you compete with. What do you do in your races? Um, we race in cross country, we run a 5K on, mostly on grass and compete to see who has the fastest time. How do you prepare for races? Uh, by eating healthy food and trying not to eat much, staying hydrated. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Reporter Gabby Winningham spoke with broadcast students about what it takes to put together the news show. Students not only create and manage the news show of the school, but also learn about news topics such as writing styles and the order of information in a daily story. Now, an interview with the teacher of this class, Miss White. So, Ms. White, what exactly is the normal day like in the classroom? Well, to be honest, every single day is different, um, simply because we're trying to learn the basics of uh, news coverage, but also cover uh, a news show at the same time. So, some days we're learning different um different things such as writing news articles, we're learning how to create those sites, how to do news packages, and then other days we're actually filming for the news show itself. All right, so how do you think it helps students outside of the classroom? I think that this is a great class uh, to take because it really helps you with your communication skills, um, it helps you with your writing skills, and really it also helps with uh, just being more outgoing because you're actually on camera and you kind of have to get out there, which is cool. All right, thank you. Now for an interview with one of our editors, Camden Ingold, and our anchor, Jay Williams. So Jay, what position do you exactly have in the new show? Um, I'm an anchor, so I'm the person that sits at the table and talks to the people and does all the pitches and stuff like that. All right, so what exactly do you do in the newsroom when you're in broadcast journalism? Um, so we have two newsrooms, actually. We have our actual classroom, and then we have our newsroom, which is the green room. Um, really, it's just a matter of we have our lesson on Monday, and then on Tuesday, it's filming day. So you really just want to 
you focus on, you know, getting your script done, you focus on making sure you know what you're about to say, you want to um, make sure that you're staying under control, you don't want to be doing too much because there's a lot going on in um, one space and it's not that big of a space. And then in the green room, um, my job is to do what they tell me to do and look pretty for the camera. All right, thank you. So what exactly role do you play in the classroom? Um, I am the producer. I'm pretty much the person who puts everything together, makes sure it's everything in the right place, and I help edit and make sure that the clips are all right. <laughs> all right, so how does that help you outside of the classroom? Help me outside of the classroom because it helps me get experience. You know, if I ever need to do something for a future job or a future class, I have some experience and I know what to do. All right, thank you. And now for an exclusive interview with our executive producer, Jalen Hill. I'm here with Jalen Hill. Jalen? So what exactly is your role in the news show? So I'm the executive producer of the news show. I edit and I make sure it's good to air on Fridays. All right, so how do you have to be inside the classroom? If I have any personal projects I want to do, um, it'll make it faster to edit them. And if I have a project I'm gonna make that's usually two hours long, probably take like 30 minutes to make. Using my video, you can create a green screen effect by videoing in front of a green screen, laying a background on the track underneath, and keying the green screen out. Athletic director Ms. Jeffcoat knows all about team building and culture of teamwork among her athletes. She was presented the Middle School Volleyball Coach of the Year Award for the Southeast Region. Two players, Olivia Liv and Tinsley Rains, were named Southeast Players of the Year. Congratulations!